first and foremost, I want to apologize. <clears throat> apologize. <clears throat> apologize for two things. That it's been a while since I made this uh, <clears throat> made a video. <coughs> Excuse me. And <clears throat> my coughing and clearing my throat. This is actually take two of me making trying to make this video. <clears throat> because I was talking, went and took a sip of my crystal light. <clears throat> I, <clears throat> I got the mojito one. <clears throat> Was talking, felt parched, took a sip, went down the wrong pipe. Being more careful this time. Okay. Now, Like I said, I do apologize. It's been close to two weeks. <clears throat> and, um, I like to say, see what had happened was. But, let's get started. I had started the Sacred Heart Diet. <clears throat> I don't know. Did I make two update videos or did I just wait one? I was going to make one, two, but I got sick. I had all the footage and everything. I just didn't get to my computer to modge-podge it all together. <clears throat> and three, I didn't record anything. I did eat <clears throat> properly. Day four came, and half of that day I had to stop the diet because on day five... <clears throat> was the day after Father's Day and the day after Father's Day is when I was going to I had a barbecue for my husband because he worked on Father's Day and he was off that Monday <clears throat> so they say to go off the diet at least 14 hours ahead of the time uh, before you're supposed to um, if you was going to drink alcohol and some other things. <clears throat> and yes, I had a couple of beers. <clears throat> a couple of beers, a couple of cocktails at this event. So, I did what the instructions said. I stopped. Um, I didn't jump right back on. Because I had... <clears throat> Had all this food in my house. Still, how many out of all the guests that that uh, I invited, how many actually showed up? It was Mr. Malcolm. I invited at least five people via Facebook. <clears throat> I say, mind your business. Sorry. I'm not talking about people who are from off the block. <clears throat> I'm talking about um, Uncle Danny and them. Oh. <clears throat> so I invited at least five people over. <clears throat> what is it? Five, six, seven, maybe six to eight people. You now I think uh, think of the breakdown of households. <coughs> None of them showed up. I didn't get no response from one. <coughs> one group. The other group. I, uh, they got called into work and then um, the other one <coughs> group said they didn't realize it was that day and stuff like that <coughs> <coughs> so it wound up being just some of the neighbors and us and having a good time Alright, besides that, what's been going on with me? Uh, getting ready for this prom. <clears throat> I will tell you this, I have not had the best eating habits after the barbecue. Sometimes I don't eat 
until <coughs> sometimes <I coughs> first meal of the day is until the afternoon and that's because of another thing my sleeping pattern is out of whack oh <laughs> excuse me it's way out of whack um <coughs> And, um, I can't get it back to where I need it to be. Uh, at least not right now. <coughs> um, <coughs> trying to work on an issue with my laptop. My laptop. The buggy, holy thing to ditch bad hand gestures, I'm sorry. Uh, charge my laptop. <clears throat> it's a short somewhere in there, so I just can't plug it in and it charge. It's like I have to sit there, hold it, and finagle it. <clears throat> and, um, to get it to charge. And as you know, with my carpal tunnel, that really hurts. <clears throat> And you can't put the lid on top of there, the water is going to get all stagnant in there because the, the moisture is still left in there. Moisture? The little droplets of water. <coughs> so, exercising. That's been next to nothing. But then again, yeah. <coughs> I do get out a couple of days out of the week. Uh, especially as of late because I am taking care of prom business and I'm this door, that door Ooh, to um, put these gift baskets together <clears throat> and I still have to go wig shopping because yeah I um I love my dreads but my dreads are more or less about health of my head rather than you know putting perms and stuff in it keep my scalp happy, then the hair falling out from the weight loss and the uh, lupus will be at a minimum and I've found that to be most helpful. But I still love it. The colors toned down some. <coughs> so I think I'm going to put a brown patch in here. Uh, a light brown patch. I kind of like the way the blonde looked when it was sitting here, but I think I'll go with the brown for now. <coughs> Some brown tones in there. Um, purple. <coughs> um, I am less than a week away from the Philadelphia Second Chance Prom that I'm hosting along with my cousin. And my husband. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna move that pan over and then put that up top there. Dress shoes check. His suit check. His shoes check. All the last thing I'm gonna do after is get my wig. He needs to get his hair cut. And um, can you believe? On the Facebook page, <clears throat> we had like 50-something responses. Oh, I want to go. I want to go this. I want to go that. And some people bailed. Some people, well, some people flaked and just didn't make no attempt in um, buying tickets. Or would comment on a page like, yeah, I'm going to wear such and such and so forth. Not if you don't have the, um... <clears throat> your ticket page. Now, the old date for the prom was yesterday, June 28th. It would be <clears throat> the day after the original day that I get two more ticket sales. Three, two, three, four. I get five more ticket sales. 
thank goodness this lady of this hall is so understanding. She's real cool and for neighbors and all that other good stuff. <clears throat> because she extended the time because I have some last bit bits and pieces of money. Majority of the money is in. Mere majority of money. Well, majority of money is in. But, um, let's see. 98% of the money is in. These last little bits and pieces of people is, it's what I have to drop off. <clears throat> so, um, she is real awesome. She's real understanding. I'm looking forward to a great time. Uh, I'm looking forward to building a memory. And I've been asked um, twice today, actually, do I want to do it again? Because <clears throat> when I was discouraged and nobody was giving me money and I lost the original hole, I was like, I'll never want to do anything like this ever again in life. <clears throat> but that was one of my bipolar depressed moments. What I've learned from this is... Advertising is the key. Early advertising is the key. Um, don't rely too much on friends and family to be part of your events and stuff like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And to pace your pace myself. Say I started in November with this. Uh, it was an idea in my head in November and it's about to come to light but if I had started in November getting stuff for the raffle baskets and stuff like that it would have been less of a push these past couple of days to put it together plus it would have been a whole lot cheaper why November? December Christmas holiday season stuff is cheaper but you live you learn you grow Will I do another one? Yes, I will. With the, those notes being said, that, and that's how I'll go about it. So we had one this year. I might not do one next year. But I'll do one the year after. Why? Because I have a lot of things going on next year. A lot of trips and stuff going on that we're planning as well. As far as event-wise, no. But, I will start the process of getting things in. Putting stuff together, brainstorming ideas. You know what I mean? It, it all starts now. This event is not... It's not done. It's not set. It is. It's set in stone, but the book isn't shut yet. So, me and my learning curve is going on up until Friday. It's the day of. Until 12 midnight. Friday, next Friday, midnight. That's when educa education is done. Because from the start, and that's finished. And I'm going to learn what it takes to, and what I need to pull off this event again in the future. It'll be much easier. I know it will be. All things start off kind of hectic. And, and with patience and, and a good support group of people at your back, um, it, 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 it can't help but flourish. I mean, I've been told by so, so, so many people that it's a great idea. I mean, you know, the, the suckiest part of all is I've had things on Facebook and I advertise on Facebook as well as other social outlets. Is that um, they would inbox me? Oh, I'm interested. I didn't go my prom for this reason, that reason, and the fourth. And I'm like, yeah, sure, blah blah blah. Um, going down to information and and when I'm like, well, you can send your your checks and money orders too. And then that's when they we they realize I thought you were in my state doing this. And I'm like. And when I get a message like that, and I go to their page and be like, Minnesota, or something, and I'm like, oh no, damn. I just want to tell them, you yeah, just fly on down, and come on down, and have a good time. City of brotherly love, we'll love to have you. 
being cautious again. But um, I will be taking videos. There will be video clips of the evening out there. Um, I'll be posting it. Hopefully, that um, next time I do an event, I can use it as a promo video of what's to come and what you can expect. Um, worked out great deals with my photographers, the haul. We've got so much going on. And being as though the numbers are so low, I mean, like attendance, I was looking to try to get 100, 250 it, 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 people. But guess what? I've got 25. Nine or ten times, you going to walk away with something. We got six, seven, seven raffle baskets and six or seven door prizes. You coming home with something. Just about everybody is coming home with something. So... A good time to be had by all. I, 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 seven, eight. We do have one gag uh, door prize. We're saving for the end of the night. But um, a good time should be had by all. Oh, I've done rambled so much. So much. I had brain fog pop in and out. But, um, I wanted to give a special shout out to my girl, Elizabeth. She left Facebook. And, um, she gives me so much support when I do log into my fitness pal. I've been so busy as well. And I haven't logged into my fitness pal on Facebook or like that. But she still gives me support. I miss her on Facebook. And I promise, when everything is said and done all stress is over I am going to t to text you like I've been saying in my head that I should need to do but my mind it gets you lupus brought lupus brain that's from the that's from the, uh, number two it's just like uh, I think of one thing to do then I gotta do something else then I gotta do something else then I gotta do something else then the night is spent and I don't like calling and texting people at certain times of night unless I know without a reasonable doubt that they're up. But big hugs, big big hugs and big love to you, Liz. Um, I'm thinking about you. I hope you're doing well with um, the new med. Um, if you think about it before I do, you text me. Get that ball rolling. I'm sorry. I got, I'm so lame on that. But... Uh, I think that's it. It's a dag near a 20 minute video. I guess I'm done for the week. I done took all your attention, attention span for this channel for the week. I'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. Bye!